Hey everybody, Caleb Dennison with Digital Trends. We're at Samsung's absolutely massive and super compact booth. There's tons of people here, and everybody's crowded around one big thing, this 98-inch 8K QLED television. And that's a big distinguishing bit about this TV is that it is a QLED TV. For Samsung, that means more than just quantum dots. It has to do with the design and the approachability of the TV. So if you've been paying attention to the QLED mantra, you know that comes with a bunch of different stuff. One is a no gap wall mount. This TV, as big as it is, can be mounted with zero gap between the wall and the television itself, which is kind of a big deal. Also, Samsung's one connect box allows you to run a single cable up to the, uh, up to the TV. It also can automatically sense all of the stuff that you plug into the TV. So whether that's your game console, Xbox, PS4 Pro, uh, you know, a Blu-ray player, a Roku box, not that you would need one with this TV, it'll actually recognize th what that is and then set up the remote so that you can control it. All those convenient features are what makes this TV a little bit different than some of the other 98-inch 8K TVs that we're seeing up here. Also, we're talking about absolutely mind-blowing peak brightness and extremely wide color gamut. Another really important part here, and this is important for everybody, is how we upscale the 4K content up to 8K, because there's really not that much 8K content out there right now. Most of what people will watch on this TV is gonna be 4K, but that's really the benefit. When you get to a TV this size, you need the higher pixel density of 8K, but if you don't have 8K content, you have to take that 4K content and intelligently upscale it up to 8K. Samsung employs a sort of deep learning algorithm. It's actually taking a look at individual parts of the image. It's recognizing objects on a frame by frame basis and taking a look, recognizing what that thing is, communicating with the database, and then filling in the gaps in an intelligent manner. It's not just looking at a wide swath of something and saying, oh, I see some green here. I guess I'll put some more green over here in these other pixels. It's actually looking at things like, I know this is a leaf. I know that this is fur. I know that this is a tree. I know that this is grass. I know this is an animal's nose, for crying out loud. It's looking, it's millions and millions and millions and millions of different images that it's reaching back in order to make that upscaling job that much tighter. So as we go forward through the show and we're looking at all these different 8K TVs, the differentiating, fa fa differentiating factor excuse me, is going to be how good is the upscaling and then after that, what's it like to own the TV after you purchased it? And that's where I think Samsung really differentiates itself. So we're looking forward to see what this company does with this TV as we go into 2019. You can bet that we're gonna give it a full review. So visit back often to digitaltrends.com for that review and all of our CES 2019 coverage right here at the show. I'm Caleb Dennison and I'll see you on the next one.